And uh, that's just a heads up. Muy bien. Pues muy buenos días. Les voy a compartir los slides. Les voy a dejar este tiempo para preparar para el time drive. This time will be spent about 10 minutes preparing for your time drive. And I'm going to show you what you need to do for that. So give me a second. I'll share my screen and I'll share the slides with you. Okay. No vamos a hacer Quizlet um, y tampoco un vocab quiz. I'm making an executive decision and letting you guys prepare for the ensayo ahora. Y van a tener 10 minutos para preparar. The time right is today. I'll leave you these slides in the chat. I gave feedback to a lot of you guys on the platform. And so the first thing is to review feedback. Um, if I give you feedback on the platform. Aquí están los slides, los dejo en el chat. A ver, slides. So, primero. Repasa feedback, review feedback from me. And then your steps to prepare for the time right today is to, um, if you're not finished, use these sentence starters. Clicking on them now, and I'll give you that link in the chat, but they're here in the slides. You have them in your chat. Use these sentence starters to get you started or to help you finish checkpoint four. At least study them really well because you're not allowed to use any other resources on the time right. So let me, <laughs> some people are already, uh, muy bien, already letting me know that they need some help. I'm glad you guys are on it and looking at the slides. Here are the sentence starters. Aquí. So especially start there. If you know that you need help first, just kind of start into the sentence starters. Some of you also might want to ask me some specific questions about feedback that I gave you. So number one, use the sentence starters if you're not finished. Review feedback that I, you got from me on checkpoint four. And what I want you to do is practice highlighting, writing important words down, important phrases, so that you can remember them for the time right. That's something you can do now if you have a green, for example. I gave a lot of people green yesterday. Maybe highlight in your checkpoint the things that you want to review the most that are the hardest to remember. <clears throat> Entonces, that's a way that you can be preparing. I'm giving you guys 10 minutes. I'll take attendance after those 10 minutes. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to start getting right into, we're going to prepare for the time right. I'll let everybody know what we're doing and we'll get right into it. Everyone's going to stay here, but if you told me that you need some help, um, I'm going to touch base with you. Um, I'm going to also, I'll write you a private message, okay? If you said that you needed help. If you want feedback from me, like right now, type yo in the chat. Um, I think that what that means for me right now, gracias, is that I'm going to look at your checkpoint on the platform right now because I did everything last night or yesterday. I looked at them. But if you've done some more work on it and you want some more feedback for me, type yo in the chat right now. And I've got some people that are doing it, so I will prioritize looking at theirs. We have 10 minutos para preparar. 10 minutos. Después de 10 minutos, voy a tomar la asistencia. I'll take attendance después de 10 minutos. All right. Okay. So if you wanted a one on one, um, I can try to pop into a breakout room. Right now we're doing whole group. I want you working while we're as a whole group. Okay. But I will message you if you said, you know, so I can try to get an idea of, 
of what you need, okay? Muy bien. Buenos dias, if you're just logging in, we're using this time to prepare for our timed right. Follow the steps on our slides here, and I will also post the slides again in our chat. Follow all the steps that you see here, and the sentence starters are linked. Tomas, good question. Do you only use preterite even if the situation doesn't call for it? If the situation doesn't call for it, you know that it should be imperfect, for example, you should use imperfect. We are practicing the preterite, so I obviously want to see the preterite used a lot in your essay. But if you know a situation calls for the imperfect, then use the correct one. That is a very good question. Gracias, Josias, para poner los slides. Gracias. If you, yeah, if you can keep doing that, that would help me out immensely. Yeah. Buenos dias, if you're just logging in, we're spending seven more minutes preparando para el ensayo, preparing for the timed right. The slides are being linked in the chat, but follow the instructions on this page to make sure that you're prepared. If you want me to look at your checkpoint four and give you some feedback, then please type yo in the chat. Muy bien. Buenos dias, if you're just logging in, we are preparing, we've got five more minutes. Preparando para el final, the timed right. These slides are being linked in the chat. Follow the instructions on this slide. You can see the sentence starters linked inside the slides as well. And if you want me to look at your, if you made some updates on checkpoint four, you want me to give you some feedback in the next five minutes, type yo in the chat. Good question, Ashwat. I'm still lagging on providing you guys with your grades for the listening assessment. So you haven't gotten the grades yet. I will be giving them to you soon. This weekend I'm getting caught up. <laughs> yeah. 
Sorry for lagging. <laughs> I think this is a good time to remind you guys to make sure you have your international keyboards working and on um, so that you can use your acts. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys aren't typing these. You're gonna be <laughs> writing them, verdad? I will go through again the process for writing. Um, but yes, you should make sure that you're using accent marks. If you don't use them, but you're writing the word correctly, um, I may dock you like a half a point. So it does really count because accent marks are important. Um, pero sí. Un minuto y medio. If you're just logging in, we are preparing for the time drive. Preparando para el ensayo. These slides are going to be linked in the chat right here. Follow the instructions on this slide. Check feedback from me on the platform. If you need some help, remember the sentence starters are here in the slide. Uh, but make sure if you want some help or you want actually me to look at your checkpoint four uh, in this next minute or two, then type y'all in the chat so I can prioritize you. And in about a minute, I will take attendance. I'm going to give you guys 
about five more minutes because there's still a few people that I'm looking through their checkpoint fours. Um, so actually I'll pause the timer right now. I will take attendance and then I'll still allow you guys five more minutes to prepare before we start talking about the time drive. Remember when I call your name, por favor, the aquí, you're gonna say aquí with your mic. Um, and if I don't hear from you, then I will mark you absent. So make sure you are responding, por favor. Um, let's see, there was a question. I wanna see if it's really urgent. Oh, I'll address that, Ashwa. Uh, okay, listen for your name. Tell me aquí, por favor. Let's do this quickly. Evan. Evan. All right, marking Evan absent. Samantha. Aquí. Gracias. Audrey. Aquí. Muy bien. Tomás. Aquí. Excelente. Mekadi. Aquí. Muy bien. Rafa Barreda. Rafa Barreda. Okay, ausente. Daniel. Aquí. Gracias. Stephanie. Aquí. Muy bien. Rafael Valencia. Aquí. Muy bien. Luis. Aquí. Muy bien. Jewel. Aquí. Excelente. Rosita. Hola, señora. Hola. By the way, Rosita. Mañana es tu cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Happy birthday. It's Rosita's birthday tomorrow. Feliz cumpleaños, Rosita. Gracias. <laughs> give her some birthday love in the chat or give her a wave on camera. I hope you have a great day tomorrow and a fun weekend. All right. Jasmine. Aquí. Muy bien. Ken or Kenneth. Aquí. Excelente. Chelsea. Aquí. Excelente. Ryan. Aquí. Muy bien. Aiden. Aquí. Perfecto. Joshua. Yo. Muy bien. Landon. Aquí. Muy bien. D. Aquí. Excelente. Noé. Yeah. <laughs> Muy bien, Lázaro. Aquí. Muy bien, Mari. Mari. Ok, ausente, Mari. Hanna. Aquí. Excelente, Eliska. Aquí. Muy bien, Megan. Aquí. Excelente, Emily. Aquí. Muy bien. Sara. Sara? Which one? Oh, Sara Nguyen. I think we only have one Sara in this class. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, gracias. Uh, Tiffany. Aquí. Muy bien. Neja. Or Ariana. Is it Ariana or Adriana, your Spanish name? Adriana. Adriana. Gracias, Neha. Eh, Alisa. Aquí. Muy bien. Raúl. Raúl had messaged me, so absent, I believe. Raúl. Enrique. Enrique. Okay, Enrique, ausente. Ariana S. Aquí. Muy bien. Kekoa. Aquí. Excelente. Ashwat. Aquí. Aquí. Muy bien. Muy bien. So, um, real quick, the people who are absent, if you guys know them and can send them a text message real quick. Oh, Evan, thank you for escribiéndome. Muchas gracias. Remember, if you don't connect with me, I mark you absent. So, Evan, I, I got you. People who I marked absent, Rafa Barreda, Mari, Raul, 
Enrique. If you are actually here, please let me know ahorita. All right, guys. A ver los teaching. Eh, Josías, tú estás aquí. Sí. Muy bien. Y Sara me escribió hace ratito. Está aquí. Okay. Perfecto, chicos. Les voy a dar cinco minutos más. Five more minutes to prepare para su timed right. Tenemos cinco minutos. Follow these instructions. Um, and again, if you haven't already, because I'm, I'm prioritizing the people who tell me yo in the chat. I'm looking at the feedback that you just sent me. But these, this is the steps that you should um, do if you are not finished. Remember, you cannot use checkpoint four on your timed right. But obviously, the more that you prepare, the better that you're going to do. So follow these steps. We got five more minutes, cinco minutos. Hasta que explico el timed right until I start explaining and we start it. Cinco minutos, preparar. Follow those instructions. Yeah, Rafa, you can use some of the same words. Um, I just don't want you repeating yourself over and over and over again <laughs> um, because you do get a score for vocabulary. So the, the more different vocabulary you use, the better it's going to be, claro. <laughs> Good question. Someone said, like, I plan on making my final product like more detailed than checkpoint four. It's an outline. Checkpoint four is an outline. So um, some people are going to be doing that. Está bien. Um, just make sure you know that you're not using any outside resources like a Google Translate or any translation, anything like that. You cannot use anything at all for your timed right. Yeah. Um, all that you can use is your brain and your memory. So I shouldn't be suspicious about about anything that is way too advanced for your level. That's what I'm going to say. Dos minutos más para preparar.
Ay, perdón. Sending some private messages um, for specific people before we move on. I'll answer the questions that you guys have very shortly about what the timed right will look like, about the cameras, about the paper, all of that. I'll answer that in just a second. Question about, good question about um, just the quality of your essay and what happens if you make a mistake, what happens if you say something wrong. Um, I do want you guys to know that Again, like I've been repeating for these final products, you know, I do not expect you to be perfect. This is an on-demand essay. You're not, you know, allowed to use any resources outside of your brain. I want to know your true level. So your true level in Spanish three means that there's gonna be or errors. There's going to be words that maybe are not used quite correctly. There's going to be spelling errors. There's going to be accent errors. Um, I expect that. So don't worry. Um, and also remember that this is the very first project, the very first writing that you're going to do for the final product. And so you're going to have lots of opportunities from here on out to be able to get better. Um, so I don't want you guys stressed. This is also um, for me to really convince you do not be tempted to use any outside resources. Remember, unless this is something that you and I have an agreement on that you're allowed to use something to help you because of your educational plan, apart from that, every single person should not use any outside resources. It should just be your brain, the paper, and the pencil or the pen, that's it. If we were in class, all computers would be put away. And of course, what I'm gonna go over is your camera and it should be pointing at your paper and that's how you're going to show me. Um, I'll address some of your concerns because I know that there's some concerns coming in the chat, but I do want you guys to realize it's okay if there are some errors and I don't expect it to be perfect. In order to get an A, it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, so just tranquilos, tranquilos about that. Um, trying to look at the different questions that have come in. Taking a note.
Um, yeah, good question, Evan. You still need to submit all three final products. This is actually one of, um, I'm going to show you guys, one of the goals today. Can you guys really quickly go into, I wanna make sure that you get as close to an hour as possible. You're at least going to have 50 minutes. Um, can you go into your week tab really quickly, make a goal, Espanol Tres, you must submit all three final products today. That means you still have to go in electronically and submit all three final products if you haven't submitted the other ones yet. So you have to go in, there's three final products, click it, click submit final product in the upper right hand corner. That needs to be done by the end of the day today. If you don't do that, then your project will go red starting tomorrow because it is due today. So good question. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Question, what exactly do we need to write? This is an essay about your summer. Look at checkpoint four. It's asking what you did over your summer. Thank you for those people who are answering. Yes. Okay, so same, same ideas, the, the uh, speaking final, what you did over your summer. Yeah. Uh, it is not a five paragraph essay. <laughs> Let me show you the example, remember. This is the example of a student that got a really good score. They got an A on this, a student that I had a few years ago. This is like, bare, this is not even a three paragraph essay. Remember, I don't want you guys um, to be afraid of, um, of the essay, right? So. What I'm saying, if, if you're confused about this, if this person wrote all of this down on their timed right, then this person would get a 3.5. Yeah, I'm not scoring your checkpoint four for your final grade. I'm scoring what you turn into me today. If it was like this, and look at it, it's not long. The only paragraph that is fleshed out is the middle paragraph, your details. What did you do? First I did this, then I did this, then I did that. You can have just one sentence for the introduction and one sentence for the conclusion. Totally fine. And you're gonna get an A. Just try to do your best. It doesn't have to be super long. So the question about a five paragraph essay, absolutely not. I am not expecting a single person to write me a five paragraph essay. If you do, whoa. And make sure that I don't suspect that this is way beyond your level and you used a Google Translate. Um, because that's plagiarism, your parents will hear about it, you're gonna have to do it again. So please avoid doing that. Don't do it at all. So remember, this is like an example of what I want you to write. What was your summer like? Okay, um, let's see. It's called an essay because there's three parts of it. If you want an A+, plus, if you want a level four score, then you would flesh out the introduction and you would flesh out the um, conclusion. We are taking baby steps to get you to the point where you're confident in writing an essay in Spanish three by the end of the year. Right now, I don't expect you, you're at the beginning of the year. I don't expect you to be super confident writing three fleshed out paragraphs. Trying to make this gradual for you guys. All right. Okay. If there's any last questions about like what I expect, let me know. I'm gonna start going over the final and what it's gonna look like, the timed writing class. Uh, you will have all tabs and windows closed, except for Zoom, even your platform. So if you wanna start doing that now, you can. If you wanna leave it for the last second because you're looking at checkpoint four, you can do that. You will need to have a paper ready. Give me a second. Let me do something here. Here we go. So please get your paper ready. Find your paper, notebook paper, blank paper. Let me say something for a second. Last class, I gave you a survey. And the survey asked you if you had any issues with any of these materials. Maybe you don't have paper at home. Maybe your camera, there's something going on with your camera. Maybe you can't take a picture with your smartphone and send it to me or you don't have that or families. No one in this class on that survey told me that they had any issues. Because you didn't tell me at that time, 
I want you guys to understand I mean what I say, and this is a final. So if you magically have a problem right now, there is going to be an issue. Okay. I will talk with you one-on-one. -on -one if you tell me that there's an issue, I'm going into every single person's breakout room today during the final to make sure your camera's on and it's facing your paper. I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. It does not have to be facing your face, but it is angled down to look at your paper, right? I'll show you better in a second when I take my background off. So that I come into your breakout room and I see immediately you're writing and you're writing in class right now on demand. Because if, again, if we were all in a classroom, you would all be writing at the same time at a desk with computers closed. So you should not be looking at the screen. You don't need to be looking at the screen. It can be tilted and looking at your paper. If you've got a different plan that you need to look at the screen for something, I will talk to you one on one about it when I come into your room. If you've got an issue for some reason, we'll talk about it as soon as I come into your room and I'll know right away because your camera's not on. If you've got an issue and you didn't tell me beforehand, because that was clearly communicated to you in class and in the email that I sent you, then we're going to talk about the plan for today. So I know that there's questions in the chat. I'll address them in a second. Get your paper ready. Lapis o pluma. Get everything ready. Make sure that you have access to submitting a photo. You're going to turn this in by taking a picture with your smartphone, your camera phone, a very clear picture, not fuzzy. I can read everything. If it's fuzzy or I can't read it, you're gonna have to submit another picture to me. Again, no one on that survey told me they would have an issue submitting a photo of your essay. So this is, this is it. You're gonna have to be very careful, be very still when you take the picture of it. If you wrote two sides, you might need two pictures. I, again, I don't expect people to write a ton. So one page or two pages if you wrote more. You're going to email me your picture. My email is right down there. And I send you emails all the time. So if you just type in I am, my email should come up. That photo has to be sent to me by the end of class, absolutely by the end of the day today. And all final products have to be submitted online when you're done. What I mean by that, I'll show you right now in the platform. This is an example of an AP project, but it, you guys have the same three final products. Can somebody stop drawing on my screen right now? I'll wait. You can actually stop people from drawing on your screen if you go to options and select uh, only I can draw on the screen. Oh, wonderful. Um, I think that has to be my um, my settings. Is that probably right, Eliska? Uh, when my mom teaches you, stuff, there's, uh, you know, all the like uh, stop, start, and then there's a little drawing. And uh, if you click the down arrow on the drawing, it says basically get, gives you to only I can draw. For sure. If you did, I mean, just out of respect, I really, um, okay. I would really appreciate if you do not do that. And if you please erase whatever you did, but I figured that out. Thank you so much for helping me out, Aliska. Um, anyway, the way that you submit your final products online, if this was your, uh, project to go into it scroll all the way down the three final products are the one with stars at the very end click on it if you haven't done this yet and open the final product i can't because um, i'm not a student you open it and on the top right hand corner over here it's going to say submit final product you need to do that click for every single one do it for the first one the second one and the third one Okay, so that needs to happen by the end of the day today. Just do it by the end of the class. If you finish early, please do not leave the class. Stay in your breakout room, share your screen. You don't have to have your camera on, but keep sharing your screen so that I know that you're done. Send me a G chat in your email, go into your email and send me a G chat. That way I can confirm with you 
if you have submitted all of your final products and I have received your picture of your essay. I don't expect a lot of people will finish before the end of class today. We have until 12.30, so you're getting 45 minutes. My email's here. I'm pretty sure I covered everything that we need. Just remember, you have to submit all final products. Um, now I'll take a look at the chat if you guys had questions. Hang on. So no, you're, uh, oh, actually, you do have the capability to share your screen and to put your camera on at the same time so it's facing your paper. I would like you to do that. The absolute requirement, camera has to be on and it has to be facing your paper. Let me show you what I mean by that really, really quick by taking off my virtual background and show you what it looks like to just um, show my why hang on i'm trying to take off my virtual background <laughs> i know how to do it i just uh clicked the wrong thing okay during your time to write something like this where it's just showing what you're writing you i don't have to see your face but i need to see what you're writing just that you are writing in person so make sure that it is showing your paper and that i see you doing this you don't need again you don't need to be looking at your screen so you're working there with that right next to you that's what it should look like when you have that i would love you to share your screen as well because then that shows me no tabs are open no windows are open you do have that capability camera on and screen share absolute requirement camera needs to be on Thank you, Jasmine, for reminding me. I do know that. That's fine. Um, Jewel, you don't need, or, or the person who wrote me about, Jewel, sorry, when you wrote me about the music thing, you don't need your mic on. Um, so, you know, if music helps get you in the flow, that's fine. But if it distracts you, you really shouldn't have music on because you wouldn't in a classroom. And I want this to be as close to a classroom setting as possible. So I would prefer you not having music on, but I also can't hear your volume if you don't put your volume on. And um, Lazaro, you're gonna be fine, all right? It's gonna be good. I will copy and paste my email to the chat right now. All right, guys. We are going to start. We're going to open breakout rooms in a second. I need everybody, if you haven't done so yet, close all tabs and windows. Cierra los tabs y cierra las ventanas. Every single one except for Zoom. Even your platform, even your email. Later, you can open this all back up. If you need to find my slides again, just go into your Google Drive, click on Recent, and you'll see my slides. They're also in your Plans tab, always. Cierra los tabs, cierra las ventanas, make sure all of these things are ready. And when I come into your breakout room, if there's any issue that you're having, we'll talk about it there. All right, make sure paper is ready, pen or pencil is at your side. I will be opening breakout rooms now. If you have a question that is good for the group, ask it now or forever hold your peace. Let me know if anything comes up when I get into your breakout room. Rooms are open. Buena suerte on the time to write. Do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, you can revise stuff later. Muy bien. Buena suerte. Go into your rooms. Click into your room. Make sure camera is on, pointing at your paper. If you're staying in the group, let me know if you have a question. Um, Ms. Mosquera. Yeah, Lazaro. What's the tab we keep open? Um, so remember, did I message you um, to let you know that if you feel like you need it, you can use your sentence starters? Mm. I'm sorry, I forgot to message you, but you can. So if you feel like you need it, the only tab that you can keep open is your sentence starters. OK. 
because what I did for practicing is I wrote the paragraphs, like separate paragraphs for separate upper activities I did in checkpoint four, but then, and they tried to memorize what I wrote, but I just worry that I might get my level overestimated because of that. I, I understand your concern, Lacero, don't worry. Um, I, I, know, I know you very well by this point and your level. And I also know how, how much you've improved and how great um, you know, of an improvement that you've had so far. And, and, I, and I'm hearing your concern, so I will keep an eye for that. And if there's anything that you know, I think I need to talk to you about, I will talk to you about it later. Don't worry. Okay, thank you, Ms. Mosqueda. Yeah, do your best. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Evan, Kakoa, do you guys have questions? Kakoa, you said something about the breakout room? You said breakout room 18. Were you originally in there? I'm trying to, f oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, I just moved you to breakout room 18. Evan, do you have a question? Oh, you're using the restroom, okay. So you'll see this when you get back. Hola, Ariana. Hi, Miss Mosqueda. Um, is this okay wait can you see me i can and and yeah earlier when you had the camera facing down i was able to see your paper so that's fine okay i was gonna ask because i didn't i didn't know if we were showing our faces and i didn't want my face to look like this. oh no 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 worries you don't have to show your face just tilt it down so i could see your writing but this is fine totally fine all right thanks bye. muy bien hola rafael Hola. Um, I was wondering if this is a good angle. Absolutely. You're good. And then my screen is showing, no? It is. Okay, cool. Perfect. Gracias. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you good, Luis? Do you have any questions? I had a question, yeah. Sure, what's up? Um, como se dice uh, 
lastly in Espanol. Ah, so here's what I'm, so on finals, um, I really avoid giving you guys direct translations, but here's what I'm gonna help you with. Especially because lastly sometimes comes with like numbers, like, oh, you could say like first, second, third, maybe. Try to think of other things you could replace if you don't know what lastly means. Could you think of another final transition word like third or maybe in conclusion? I don't remember what conclusion is either. I could give you a hint for that one. It's a cognate, meaning it sounds really similar in English and in Spanish. I, I, assume, I kind of assumed that, but I, cause I think I've heard it before, but I don't remember how to spell it. So you know how to spell conclusion in English? Yeah. That's a good hint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So use that. See, that's a good skill of like, even if it's a, a test or a final, even if you don't know a word, try to think of the other things that you might be able to say. So go, go ahead and go with that one. Gracias. Muy bien. If you need me again, just click ask for help, okay? Sí. Okay, muy bien. Um, I finished and so am I allowed to pick up my phone and take a picture? <laughs> yes, absolutely. You can definitely use the phone for that. Okay. And whenever you have finished like taking that picture, submitting it, making sure it's readable, um, and you email it to me, submit your final products, uh, send me a G chat so that I can check all those things and then I can excuse you from class. All right, thank you. Muy bien. Hola, Ariana. Hi, sorry. Um, I was just, I just remember that on my checkpoint four, you asked me to put more transitional phrases, but I didn't have time to do that when I was going over it today. Um, I like, I was wondering like what those transitional phrases might look like, except for like e, e primero, cause that's all I use, like primero and e. Primero is great. Um, primero means first, right? Yeah. If you can think of how to, you know, first, second, Third, do you maybe remember second and third? Yeah, segunda. Yeah, perfecto, so those types of words. Yeah, okay. Um, it's because like I only did one thing, that's why I didn't, like I only did like one or two things, that's why I didn't like put like, You know, you, you had a lot in there actually. You were able to talk about a lot and I remember you talked about a lot on your speaking final too. Yeah, and, like of course, just, you had like one trip that you talked about, right? Yeah. But I just whatever I said, like whatever came to my head because I didn't memorize. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. So, I mean, that memorization hopefully is going to help you a little bit now. I know that it's been a little, a while, but. No, um, it's, it's helping. <laughs> good, good. I'm so glad. So, you know, use all those details as, as much as you can. And if you know first, second, third, just weave those in, in the details, okay? okay. And then is third like trece? You're really close. Oh my God, okay, I need to remember it. Um, what's actually gonna be a good hint for the ending of that word, you're getting the, the beginning and middle like really close, but the ending of that word, think about primero, how it ends, and then what is what is second? The tercero, segundo. Yeah. Tercero, oh, okay. That's not a Again, you got it. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Hi. <laughs> Hola, Samantha. I had just, I noticed that you stepped away for a second, but uh, oh, yeah. everything okay? Yeah, I just had to hand something to my mom. For sure, for sure. <laughs> okay. All right, well, keep going. If you need me, just click ask for help or send me a G chat. Okay. Do we have like, um, do we finish at the end of class? Is that like our time limit? Yeah, at 1230. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Hola, Audrey. Audrey, everything good? Can you hear me, Audrey? Yeah. Hi, I think it was lagging for a second. Everything good? I think that's it. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? I'm typing in the chat just in case. No, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Okay, good. Just keep going. You can show um, on your on your paper and let me know if you need help. Uh -huh. Hola, Neha. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? I was just wondering how you say months in Spanish. Months? Yeah. So I... I avoid giving people direct answers during finals, during tests. Um, what I can tell you is if there are other things that you can say that might help you, that you know how to say that might help you even replace that word. For example, do you know how to say weeks? Do you know how to say days? And even if it's not quite what you wanna say like months, um, maybe you can say like the number of weeks or the number of days. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, if, if you didn't want to use weeks or days, maybe you could even say a long time or something like that. So try to think of other ways you could say what you want to if you're if you don't know months. Because I remember how to say years, days, and oh. weeks, but I forgot months. <laughs> oh, so inconvenient, right? I hate when that happens. So just do your best, but because it's a timed right, it's a test, I don't want to give you the answer here. Um, I can definitely tell you afterwards if you're still curious, or you can look it up, but use a different word maybe that you can put in its place. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Hola, Luis. Hey, I'm uh, pretty much done with my, uh, I'm pretty much done with my essay. Muy bien. Did you already take a picture of it? Um, I did not yet. I was... I, I was going to wait. I just, uh, I was gonna wait until you uh, came in so I could tell you. So it didn't look like I was like looking up something on my phone. Oh, okay. Thank you for being careful. That's totally fine, though. You can take your phone out, take a careful picture of that, and then email it to me. Okay. Uh, and then after you do that, make sure you also submit both final products online. 
All right. Let's see if this picture turned out well. Um, yeah, I think the only annoying thing might be my handwriting. That's fine. Um, and then, so email me that picture, submit the final products online, and then send me a G chat so I can check those things. And I, and then I'll dismiss you early if that's all done. Okay. All right. I can stop sharing now then. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Since we talked. All right, cool. Okay. Hola, Rafael. Hola. Um, I finished. Again. Um, so have you already taken a picture of it? Uh, no. All right, please do that. Make sure it's a careful picture. Okay. Uh, should I put flash on so there's no shadow? Uh, whatever you think is going to make it the most clear. You can even do a couple tests if you want. Okay. All right. And once you do that, please um, go into the platform and submit all three final products. Okay. Um, when you email me your picture and have your product submitted, send me a G chat and I will tell you if you are free to go. Okay. Okay, I'm going to email it to you right now. Wonderful. After that, submit your final products and send me a G chat, okay? Okay, sounds good. Great. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hola. What's up, Alisa? Hi, I'm done, but I was trying to submit it and it shows that there's, it says nothing to submit for this final product and it shows that there's no way to upload it. Yep. Don't worry, you're gonna email me your picture. Okay. So email me the picture, but just make sure on the platform where you're looking at, make sure you click the button that says submit final product because the email plus clicking submit counts. Okay, okay. and then after that, what should I do? You chat me so I can confirm that all three final products are submitted and I received your email before I dismiss you. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, de nada. Hola, Hola. Sorry, I keep calling you over, but it's because now I'm having memory issues. Okay, I'm trying to write las playas muy bonitas y azules, but I know I have to put fui in there because it's were. Ah. But I don't conjugate fui for um, they because I tried fuian, but I know that's not, <laughs> that doesn't sound right. You're, you're pretty close, actually. So are, is your question just what word to use or where to put it? Um, no, I think I know where to put it. Las playas fui muy bonitos y azules, but I just don't know how to conjugate it. Muy bien. So tell me what you thought it was. Tell me that word again. Fui <laughs> on. I know it's not that, but it's like something so like that. what I'm hearing and what I'm going to tell you is correct about that mm -hmm. is the beginning, the F-U part, mm -hmm. and yeah. then it sounds like you're ending it with an N. So fu and then n, that's correct. Mm -hmm. The middle part, and it, and it also sounds like there's an r that you're putting in there. So it might not be fuidon, but it might, instead of like an e sound, it might be a different, instead of that i, right? It might be something else to spell in the middle, but you're really close. Okay. Fu wait, what? Fu wait. Now you got me thinking if there's an R in there. So, yeah, I mentioned an R. Yeah. So wait. you said fuer. What do you think? Oh, wait, fueron, fueron. All right. Okay, nice okay I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back out, okay? Keep going. Do your best. Okay. Hola, Tomas. What's up? Uh, I Sorry, you're breaking up a lot. Yeah, I think my Wi-Fi isn't working though. Oh, that's better. Can you repeat your question? Um, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do when I'm done. Yes. Like, uh, so yeah. first, take a picture so of your first, essay. First. Take a picture of your essay. Okay, I did that. Email it to me. Email it to me. 
Okay, I'll do that. Good. Good. And then online, online. submit all three final products. Okay. And then do I stay in the call with like my camera still on or or just stay in the call? Stay in the call. And once you do all those things, G chat me so I can check and dismiss you early. Uh okay. Okay, great. That's Hola, Rafael. Hola, sorry. Um, but what do I do now that I submitted it and sent it to you? All right, so let me check. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to check that I received your email and you submitted all three final products, okay? Yeah, I was about to leave, but then I was like, oh, yeah, I have to ask. <laughs> Thank you for double checking. So I'm checking right now. Okay. Muy bien, I received your email and now I'm checking your final products on the, um, what's it called? Platform. Um, platform yeah. Okay, you got that one. All right, you are good, so you can sign out. Okay, thank you. Adios, Rafael. Adios. Gracias. Hola, Sara. Sorry, I'm sending the email. Wonderful. Once you send that um, and then submit the products, just send me a G chat and maybe I can dismiss you early. Okay. Oh, Gracias. wait, do we need to say anything or just put the picture? Oh, just the picture is fine. If you just title it, maybe um, timed right or something. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, gracias. Hola, Tiffany. Hi, I was still emailing my thing. Muy bien. Um, so go ahead and email it to me. And then after you do that, submit all three final products. Okay. And once you do all those things, send me a G chat and I will confirm if you can leave early. Okay, thank you. Gracias. Yes. Hola, Ryan. Uh, hola. Uh, if I'm done, what do I do?
Have something. you taken a picture of it yet? No, because I okay. thought like you would like want me to like, do that <laughs> in front of you, so you didn't think I was. Thank you for being considerate about that. Go ahead and take your smartphone out. You can snap okay. a picture. Just make sure it's really clear. Uh, do you want us to submit this on the final product or only to your email? Um, just the email, because there's not really a way to upload it to the final product. So just the email. What you will have to do after sending the email is go into the platform and click submit in the okay. final product. Okay. Once you do that and make sure that all the other final products are submitted to send me a G chat and I'll confirm that I got everything and I'll let you leave early. Okay, great. Hola, Daniel. Hi, Miss Mosqueda. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. I'm just good. tired. Yes, I feel you. <laughs> so, were you able to email me your final product? Yeah, but it said that something about you being outside of my organization or something. Don't worry, I actually just checked it and I can see it fine. Okay, good. And then did you submit all the final products? Yeah. All right, I'm checking right now. Got you there. Got you. You are good to sign out. All right, thank Gracias, you. Gracias, Daniel. Have a good weekend. You too. Gracias. Hola, Liska. Hi. Uh, are you all done? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I got bored. <laughs> oh, that well, it's cute. What you're doing are those Legos and looks like other stuff too. Uh, this is uh, clay, uh, modeling clay, basically. I'm making little swirled pancakes. <gasps> Love it. <laughs> and then these are uh, little balls in a Lego. Aww. display case i love it so you got some nice tools there in case you get bored <laughs> and then um, awesome. i mean my desk basically has everything <laughs> that's awesome um so have you already taken a picture of your essay no i need to do that thanks for reminding me yes just make sure it's a clear picture i can see it well have to move stuff away no worries and then once you do that, um, just make sure you submit all three final products online. Okay. And then email me your picture. And once all those things are done, feel free to send me a G chat and I might be able to let you go a few minutes early. Mm -hmm. Great. See if I can get better lights. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be checking some other rooms, but send me a G chat if needed, okay? Mm -hmm. All righty. Hola, Lázaro. Oh. Hey, it looks like you wrote a lot. Are you all done? I wrote what I, because I was practicing in what I wrote in the checkpoint four to try, because I wrote not complex sentences, but ones that were easier to remember. So I managed to write those. For sure. I'm so glad. Um, you think you're all done? Um, I think so. All right. So if you haven't done so yet, do you have a phone you can take a picture of it with? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Muy bien. Just make sure it's a clear picture and I can read everything clearly. Um, you can snap that picture now and then send me the email with the picture. Once okay. you do that, 
Okay, once you do that, make sure all three final products are submitted and then you can send me a G chat if it's before 1230 and I can let you go early. Okay, thank you, Ms. Mosquera. De nada, Lázaro. I'll see you later. See you later. Hola, Ken. Did you tell me you were finished? Uh, yeah, I am. All right. Did, did, did I give you um, permission to leave? Oh, please, no. Oh, okay, I'm looking back at my G chats and I'm realizing. Let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just missed it and like um, didn't respond. So let me check right now and I'll and I'll tell you if you can leave early. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you for um, hanging back and, and not leaving early. Hey, yeah, no problem. All right, you're all good, Ken. You can leave early. Yeah, thank you. Gracias. All right, adios. Have a good weekend. Yes. Hola, London. Hola. Uh, uh, I only had one question. I was just really quick. Does arte make sense, right? Arte? Yes. Okay. Okay. I, and also, like, uh, can, I, can I do a drawing on my essay? As long as you've got all the writing there, then yeah, you, that's fine. Yeah, I got the thing. All right. I was going to draw a little house on the bottom. And, and then I was going to say, yo, le gusta mi casa. All right. So just make sure that by 1230, you have everything. The drawing is fine. Yeah, I, I finished, sure that you I, I finished writing. Uh, okay, so I just take a picture and then send it to you. Email, or you, it, email yeah. it to me okay. and make sure the picture is clear and then submit all three final products online. Oh, all three final products? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep going. Hola, Jasmine. Hey. I tried my best trying to do, I'm trying to send you the, my essay. Are we supposed to start it? What do you mean start it? I already started, I already uh, finished it, so. Great. Did you take a picture already? I did picture, take a picture, just trying to like send it to you for some reason. Awesome. Once you email it to me, Jasmine, make sure that you submit all three final products online. All right. And then um, if it's before 1230, just send me a G chat and I'll check it and I can let you go a couple minutes early. Uh, very and this might be kind of messy because I, kind of outline my uh, essay was pen because it was in pencil before and like you won't see all the, the words I pin inside here so that's why and some of them there might be some spelling mistakes too but I try my best please. No worries Jasmine you're good. All right so you just send me a g-chat when all those things are done okay? All right I'm just gonna send to myself first then I can send to you because for some reason my phone doesn't have access to your email. Sounds good. All right. Mm -hmm. Hola, Macavi. Hola. <laughs> Hi, I was just taking a picture. Ah, no worries. So once you take that picture and email it to me, make sure that you submit all three final products online and then send me a G chat if it's before 1230 and I'll confirm that I received everything um, so that maybe you can go a couple minutes early. All right, thank you. Right, I'm about bien. to G chat it. All right, muy bien. Am I allowed to uh, leave if I'm done? Yeah, um, give me a second and I'm going to confirm that I received everything, okay? Okay, okay. All right. Did you make sure to also submit the three final products online? Yeah, yeah Muy I did. Bien. Muy bien, let's uh, check those. Mm 
-hmm. All right, you're all good, Ashwat. You can log out. Okay, gracias. Gracias a ti. Adiós. Hola, Rosita. <laughs> Are you all done? Muy bien. Did you already take a picture of it? Yeah, I sent you the email. Okay, let me confirm and then I can let and you know. And I had submit. <laughs> Muy bien. So let me see. Honestly, the other two I don't even remember doing. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it's because we did them in class and I probably told you guys in class to do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, muy bien. Okay, so I see that you wrote a little bit in English and then wrote in Spanish. That's totally okay that I at least have the Spanish part. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, good, you submitted that one and let me look at this other one. Yeah, I got you. You're good. You can log out. Have a great birthday tomorrow. Feliz cumpleaños. Gracias. Hasta luego. Adios. Hola, Kekoa Noe. Are you guys all okay? Um, yeah, I actually already finished today. Where was supposed to put it again? Do we email it? Yes. Or? Please take a picture of it and then email it to me. I'll put my email in the chat here. And then submit all three final products online. Buenos dias. Take a picture of your essay. Email me the picture. Here's my email. And then submit all three final products online. So here are the steps of what you should do if you haven't done it yet. Take a picture of your essay, email me the picture, and then submit all three final products online. Hola, hola. We have reached the end of class. Son las doce y treinta y uno. Here are your three instructions. Take a picture of your essay, email me the picture, and submit all three final products online. Matavi, I got yours. Thank you so much. You can go. Jasmine, thank you, I got yours. You can go. Make sure you submit the final products online. No, I got yours. You're products? good, you can go. No, I got yours. You're good, you can go. Adios. If you wanna double check with me, let me know. Even if you are not done, I want you to take a picture of your essay now. We've reached the end of class. And in that time frame, I want to see the work that you were able to produce. Take a picture of it, send it to me now. Adios, Josias. Hasta luego. Luego, have good lunch. Gracias. Eliska, I got yours. You can go. Hasta luego. I think you already signed out. Okay, Samantha, I'm gonna show you. Um, let me screen share. This is how to submit the three final products online. I know this isn't your project, but it, it looks pretty much the same. Go into the project on the platform, scroll all the way down, and the three final products right here at the end. We've done them all. You just need to click Submit Online. So for example, go into the first one, if you haven't done this already, Evaluación de Escuchar, you're gonna have to click on it up here. I can't click on it because I'm a teacher. You can click on it and once you open it, 
there's going to be a button on the top right. It says submit final product. Click on that button. Do that for all three. The speaking final you did with me, so you're good. And make sure to do that for the timed right. The um, ensayo that it says at the third bottom, ensayo de verano, click on that, open it, and then click submit. All right. I was able to submit, I think. Gracias, Lázaro. Jewel, let me check that I got everything that you that um, I need from you. All right, Jewel, you're good. And just make sure that those are submitted on the platform. Good, Samantha. Let me double check for you. You're good, Samantha. Gracias. Uh, Lázaro, I'm checking for you right now. Muy bien. Gracias, Lázaro. You're good. Thank you. Have a nice day. I mean, tiene un bien día, señora Mosquera. Gracias para bien. por todo tu ayuda. Gracias, Lázaro. Adiós. And I think I know mine too. I got it. Thank you. Make sure all final products are submitted. Okay, um, do we just send it to your email? Sorry? Do we just send it to your email? Yes, please. Send me the picture. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hannah, gracias. You're good. Did, did Make I send sure it to you, you submitted the final products. Sorry. Uh, did I send it to you, Sir Mosquera? Check in. Uh, it's still loading, London. Probably, I don't see it yet. Oh, it just came in. Let me make sure I can see it well. Yep. Um, did you submit the final products online? Yeah, let me just do that really quick. Do that really quick. Thank you. And then Evan and Stephanie, what's your what's your uh, status? I'm sending it right now. Gracias. I'm sending it right now. Yeah, they're Gracias. loading. Yeah. Did you send it, Evan? Yeah, I'm sending it. Oh, okay. You let me know, both of you, when it's sent so I can confirm. 